Okay, we have a very small vein here just under the dermis, uh, but it's feeding into thread veins. So we make our foam, this time with 1% STD, with carbon dioxide and oxygen. The bevel is placed upwards, and in the longitudinal axis of the probe, we come along, getting the best signal, and then using the side-to-side -side movement to get the best ultrasound image of the needle. And once we do that, we should be the same plane as the vein advance into the vein itself and then when we inject the foam travels along the vein you can see if you extravasate because you don't get the passage you get a blowing up and then immediately that's happened we lift the leg up we sweep the foam where we want it we take the gel off the skin and then we bind the leg with this bandage that holds itself to itself but without using any adhesive at all and that eccentric compression will now stay on for 14 days and nights in that area. Lovely. Okay, so we have another vein just under the dermis. A nice size for a 1% SDD foam. So we make the foam first of all, the Tsari method, using carbon dioxide and oxygen, no air, because we don't want any emboli. Then in the longitudinal axis of the leg, we inject in smooth the needle side to side to get the best image. At that point, you saw it go through the vein wall. So once you see that little puncture on the ultrasound, you know you're there, and you can empty the whole lot straight into that vein. And then that will pass for miles up and down. We can sweep it into place with the ultrasound and then we make the next lot immediately so as they're positioning where we're going forward and then we have a, about a minute or so just to choose our next route before we have before we have to get the wrap on so as we've pre-marked our veins we know exactly where we can go we can start making this now and we're going to come into that second target vein bevel on the needle upwards lovely thank you and straight into the in here and so the key to this is trying to get make sure there's always the best signal of the needle because that will make sure it's in the right plane and then you just see it punch through at the last second into the vein itself and there it's going up all the uh, little thread veins towards the surface so you can see it's not only in the vein we've aimed to but it's going straight up into all those thread veins and that will not only destroy the underlying feeding vein that we want to but we'll also get rid of a lot of the thread veins on the surface, which at least at first will go red and look horrible, but then after that, over the few weeks, will settle away. So we're going to put some padding behind the leg, because over the weeks, the two weeks that this uh, bandage is on, it can chafe at the back of the leg if we don't actually protect the popliteal fossa. So we put that on first. We wrap this sclerosant around the leg, right up to this level here. And that's the lot. And then we're going to bring this all the way down so that we can put an easy graduated pressure stocking over the top without this bandage ruffling up. So we now have eccentric compression over the veins that have been treated. Quite strong, quite firm compression over the whole of the leg in one continuous roll so it's not going to move as we pull the stocking up. We can cut that off there, and then that's going to stay in place for 14 days and nights with a graduated pressure stocking over the top.